We're here today to work with the Enchroma glasses, which are uh, special optical filters, which will help with people who are color blind to be able to perceive colors in a new and different manner that they've never been able to see before. Uh, color blindness is a, a genetic disorder uh, inherited through the X chromosome. So a person's born with a reduced number of photopigments, which are used to determine color, and in some cases are born entirely without either the red or the green photopigments. Depending on the type and the severity of the color blindness, they can be very successful, where the patients um, will think it's a, a, a life, sort of a life-changing experience with what they're able to perceive. In some cases, though, uh, it won't have the effect, depending on the severity. If it's a deep, deep uh, red defect, for instance, then it won't be as successful. The Enchroma glasses were the uh, one of three the clinics in British Columbia to offer them and the only clinic in the Metro Vancouver area that carries them. The Enchroma glasses can range from four to six hundred dollars uh, and then they are available in prescription as well if, uh, if the patient would uh, request that. I'm an HVAC mechanic and a plumber um, so I actually do quite a bit of wiring. That's the majority of my job. Um, it can be quite difficult at times. Um, the ways around it so far is they usually compare to other colors that I know. Um, I have to cheat with like a white light flashlight or white piece of paper to help. Uh, if I'm really stuck, I, because of modern technology, I can text pictures to my dad or my wife. Um, but prior to that, I was kind of on my own. <laughs> um, it's definitely a lot easier to see the separation um, between some of these colors, which before looked all the same to me. These looked the same to me before. I could not tell the difference but now I can see there's a difference. I'm not sure what color it is, but I know there's a difference. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a director of photography, so color is very important to what I do. Um, but I've, you know, I haven't really let it restrict me too much. I tend to surround myself with good people that'll be honest with me. I'm working towards my PhD uh, degree. Um, and. Um, a lot of publications in my field use graphs they are very colorful because we're studying different cell populations and then you have to plot them in some, some different ways. So I have always to go back to the text and then use the author's uh, uh, descriptions or, or conclusions because I'm unable to come up with my own conclusions just based on the graph. I want the weather to clear and see a sunset. Uh, yes, I think that will be a, a good experience. Seeing car colors for the first time that I couldn't <laughs> see before <laughs> would be interesting. Yeah, and I think uh, just the colors in the mountains and stuff like that, being so close to nature, will be a great thing to finally uh, see a bit more, a bit more of.